The Harold Alphonse Sports Arena is the center for all things hockey at the University of Maine on select weekends throughout the fall and winter. But on weeknights, the Alphonse is home to a more unknown element of Maine hockey, practice. The women's ice hockey team has had a successful first half of the season, and they owe their success to hard work and dedication to practice, but also family. These characteristics are the core of the team's training sessions on and off the ice. As a coach, Richard Reichenbach is instrumental in coordinating and planning each practice with his coaching staff. I think just to, the biggest thing is first planning the practice and figuring out what, as a coach you always have a million different things about what you want to get better at uh, every week and it never ends, it even continues mid-practice. So just kind of figuring out the three or four things that you need to do uh, for that week that'll get better or get you prepared for that next team. And, also, not just thinking about that upcoming weekend, but thinking about, you know, you kind of, if you were planning a class, uh, you know, you want to, at the end of the semester, you want your students to be a certain place. And that's, I think, that's kind of how we think as a coaching staff. Once we go into playoffs, this is where we want to be. So our biggest thing is just to repeat, 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 and, and, and bang home those, those skills and those traits that we're trying to, to push. Those skills that are pushed on a regular basis in practice are good communication, decision making, and physical play. For forwards like Emily Brigham, scoring goals is the focus of her practice. Scoring definitely. We, we have, in the past few years, we haven't scored as many goals as we want to, so we definitely focus on scoring a lot. Um, getting the puck to the net and going to the net hard, that's our main focus. We just want to work on getting really physical, taking the body and getting quick shots off. So we are, we were in there pretty tight, working on our body position and getting the puck quick and shooting at the net and getting there. Simulating game situations is also a large portion of a typical practice, and players of all positions are tested in full speed scenarios. I believe we were doing four and four drill. Uh, I, like, I, the main focus is just kind of you know battling against each other and going 100%, getting that game pace going. Uh, going hard up against each other because we're going to face you know hard opponent, opponents they're going to be going hard against us so you know we want to do that in practice and get that feel for like, game pace but not all of practice occurs on the ice there are also two separate lifts that occur during the week amongst the team's four practices but a portion of each practice is spent off the ice where the team is addressed by their mental coach via youtube you know we all pretty much talk, uh, do the whole meet with hoff um with the mental training as a team um I've talked to Hoff on my, on my own. Aside from the regular aspects of a hockey team, this team also has a very special bond on and off the ice. And while playing hockey at a Division I school is a serious task, there is still plenty of time for fun. Uh, I think we're very unified. We're really good as a team. We have a lot of different personalities, and that makes it a lot of fun. Coming to the rink every day, we're all pretty energetic, and we get along pretty well. Um, good chemistry on the ice and in the locker room, and that makes it really special. Before practice, before we warm up, we, we like to fool around a lot, but once we get on the ice, we're kind of all business. We're dialed in, ready to go. We play with a soccer ball, um, two touch we call it, so each person gets two touches and we try to get the other person out, which is pretty fun. But this fun is rooted in deeper trust built during the long season. It's our togetherness off the ice. Um, we all get along together, uh, we all support each other, even like like what we do off the ice is being transferred onto the ice, you know. We support each other off the ice and then it gets transferred onto the ice and I think that's a huge um, reason why we're doing so well. And Even the coaching staff sees the results of that off-ice trust exemplified by the strong cohesive unit on the ice. Those relationships that they have off the ice definitely, uh, I see them on the ice in practice and you know they need that trust to battle hard in practice. It's hard to to you know, go full speed into your friend sometimes, and and uh, you know try and beat out your friend every day and compete with them. So you have to have that trust that everyone wants to get better. Everyone's in it for the same reason, and you really have to put your personal ego aside a lot of the times in this game. So I think I think our positive attitude and our family uh, philosophy are things that we definitely try and push in practice. That family aspect is reflected in the players themselves and even in the coaching staff. Well, first it starts in our recruiting process when we recruit people. That's you know we tell them that you know you're going to come to the rink and our baby's going to be around. And obviously, me and Sarah are married, so that's already a start that very few teams have. But uh, it, the biggest thing that we do is is we talk a lot about how we need to treat each other, and 
you know, we always encourage them to, to communicate with each other. We, we meet with the players one-on-one -on -one and talk to them a lot about, you know, how they're doing. And we try and not just, like, obviously it is about hockey, but you, know, you don't coach. Like, you coach to win, but that's not the main reason you're coaching. You're coaching because you care and you, you care about that goal and you care about them coming together. So uh, the biggest thing is that we just try and show them that, you know, we care about their school, we care about their family, we care about their friends, we care about if they're having a bad week. Uh, this isn't just win at all costs, no, you know, no surrender, tough it out through everything. You know, there's going to be an ups and downs. And we think if we have a positive attitude and we have a family-like atmosphere, when you have a season that's longer than any other NCAA season, it's six months, they're excited to come to the rink opposed to being like, oh, another day at the rink, it's tiring, it's grinding. Yes. Sometimes it is tiring, it's grinding, but you're around people you love and an atmosphere that you really enjoy. We always want positive reinforcement. We want them to know that we care about them greatly. We want them to know that, that we believe in them. Um, we preach family so much and, you know, they do so many things to prove that they are, they are a strong hockey family. Players and coaches alike will return to their families at home for the two-week holiday break before being reunited with their hockey family here at Maine for the second half of the regular season. And I know by the end of the season we're going to be averaging probably 10, 15 goals a game. <laughs> or three or four.